It's so great to see our children for the children's message. How many of you guys know what this is? It's a present. It's a gift. And many of us, just a few months ago or over Christmas, we probably receive a gift or two or many. Others of us, if we had a birthday recently, we probably received a gift for that occasion, right? And I want you to think with me your favorite gift that you have received. What would it be? And I want us to look at this present box and see what gifts are in here. Let's see, there is a, a ball. Perhaps your favorite gift that you have received was a ball or sports equipment. What else is in here? Ooh. Others of you may have received a doll, a Barbie doll perhaps. Maybe that was your favorite gift. Still, there are others of you who may say, oh, I love playing with cars or toys or maybe one of these like transforming robots. Still others may you, of you may have loved receiving gift of a stuffed animal, an animal that you can just cuddle with at night and go to sleep with. You see, we all have our gifts that we love, right? And when your mom or dad comes to you and gives you a gift and says, please give me $5 for this gift, how would you feel? You would feel weird, right? Because a gift is supposed to be given free. It should be free for us. And if we have to pay for it, it's not a gift at all. Today, I want us to look at John, Gospel of John, chapter 3. And in it, is one of the verses that many people love to memorize. In John chapter 3, verse 16, it says, For God so loved the world that he gave us his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him shall not perish, but may have eternal life. You see, God gave us the greatest gift that we could ever receive, and it came in a form of his Son. Jesus. You see, God gave us this gift of his son, and that God gave it to us. And God didn't ask us to pay five dollars or any amount of money. But God said, here's a gift freely given for you. And all you have to do is believe in him and believe in his teachings and the life he lived. You see, God gave us his son, and his son Jesus lived on the earth. And then he taught people, and eventually he died on the cross, and he was buried in a tomb. And then three days later, he rose from the dead. And according to the scriptures, when he, over, when he resurrected, he overcame death and sin. And the gift that God had given us through Jesus Christ, we're able to have this eternal life because Jesus was willing to pay the penalty for sin for us so that we could have this life forever with God. You see, God gave us the greatest gift ever in Jesus. And that is my favorite gift. And this gift that God has given us is not just for you and me, but it's for everyone around the world. So as we meet other people, feel free to share this gift, gift that God had given us in Jesus Christ. Let us go to God in prayer. Holy God, we give you thanks for giving us your son, the greatest gift that you have given to us. And when we believe in him, we are able to have eternal life with you. And as your believers, may we share this news with others so that many will come to know you and believe in him. We offer this in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. Amen.